Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and today I'm gonna bring you an update on what is Facebook Libra Coin, uh, what it's all about, and how it's going to change cryptocurrency in the future. But first, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel. It really helps me out a lot. Now let's get into it. All right, so we're back. So before we get into the Libra coin, let's go over what Bitcoin is doing in the market, all right? So if we go over to a uh, coin market cap, um, Bitcoin is now at $9,927. So Bitcoin is gonna be over $10,000 pretty soon. It's up 5% on the day. Um, Ethereum, another holding that I have a lot of, is up 9% of the day. A lot of people like Ethereum. Ripple is up 3.6% today and Litecoin. So my top four, uh, yeah, I have a lot of holdings in these top four coins, especially Litecoin, which is up 2.55% today at $137. Now we look at the um, coin market cap, um, cryptocurrency market cap is around $304 billion, $304 billion in today's volume on a 24 hour volume it's been trading over 68 billion dollars and what's interesting is that the btc dominance right here is moving up to almost 60 percent it's at 57 percent right now so bitcoin is still dominating the game at the lowest point i think it was around like 40 percent at the highest point like 80 ish percent in the last two or three years but yeah man bitcoin is doing amazing if we go over to ccn news uh, not a, a lot of analysts are saying that um, if Bitcoin breaks and holds above that $10,000 mark, that they can see Bitcoin actually going up to $15,000 out of FOMO. FOMO means fear of missing out. All right, FOMO. So it going to $15,000 out of FOMO is not a good thing for Bitcoin. It's not a healthy a thing for Bitcoin because it is going to uh, reconsolidate, it is going to correct itself and come back down if it does just have a pump and dump type of thing like that to 15,000. That's how I got to 20,000 first time out of fear of missing out. But hey, we're about to buy Bitcoin now, they pump to 15 and then sell at the top. Uh, I think in my last video, I did talk about that the monthly uh, EMA crossing did cross uh, last week. And that the last time it did cross, it went from nine hundred dollars to over eight, no, nine thousand dollars. So it went from nine hundred dollars to nine thousand dollars the last time the uh, EMA did cross. But as you know, I am still waiting on the um, happening to happen. After the happening, uh, I really expect a lot of big things to happen a year after the happening. After the happening, I'm going to invest as much as I can into Bitcoin, and hopefully it explodes. All right, so. Over at CCN News, a lot of companies are saying that Bitcoin is going to be on a, a short-term bull run up to around $15,000 and because that the US dollar is weak, all right? So let's talk about Facebook Libra, okay? So Facebook Libra, Facebook is developing a cryptocurrency where um, you could you could send and trade it throughout the Facebook app, the Facebook Messenger. You could pay someone through Facebook and using um, Cash App. So it's a form of currency that they're trying to implement into their own Facebook uh, platform. And as you know, Facebook runs the world. They run Instagram. Facebook runs everything. All right, so they could get this coin off the ground. Uh, people will be able to pay you through the Instagram app using the uh, Libra coin. So shopping might be that much easier on Facebook and or on Instagram. You know, they could post a tag on Instagram. Hey, I bought this from here. You can click it right on Instagram and pay right through Instagram using the uh, Libra coin. So uh, Facebook is doing a, a, a marketing thing to where they're only going to let 100 big companies, tech companies or banks buy into the Libra coin so like mastercard uber uh paypal visa um what was another one i seen uh cash app just a lot of big time companies buy they only let 100 companies buy into it disney netflix and stuff like that to where they can control so 
of those 100 companies, uh, they get to vote on the the uh, cryptocurrency on where they how they want to centralize and where they want the coin to go in the future. So it's not going to be a lot of different people. They're only going to have to hear from 100 or so people when they do do the voting for the Facebook Libra coin on how and where they want it to go in the future. So they have had this holding and people are already buying. I forgot how much it was, but it was a lot of money for these companies to actually get in on the Facebook Libra coin, right? So uh, some analysis are saying that um, it's actually good for Bitcoin. It's not gonna hurt Bitcoin, even though they're trying to make Libra more mainstream to where you can spend it, make it, buy it, earn it so much easier than Bitcoin because people are just really buying Bitcoin and holding it, not or buying Bitcoin and trading it, not really spending Bitcoin like an actual currency. And Facebook is trying to make um, Libra an actual type of currency that people can earn, spend, and make on a daily basis just to buy normal things. Unlike Bitcoin, they're kind of using it as an investment type of coin other than a coin that you spend on a daily basis. All right. So um, a lot of people think that Libra is not going to actually hurt Bitcoin, but actually boost it in the future. In fact, the day that uh, Facebook announced Facebook Libra Bitcoin did shoot up, I think, 3% the day that they announced it. And Bitcoin is still on the rise um, since then. Today is up 5%. But not everything is shiny and gold with Facebook Libra. Um, over in France, G7, that group of uh, group of seven, that's like their, like our, our no, not our, it's, it's like our FBI, or CIA, or something like that. Um, they're saying that they're, uh, they don't want Facebook, uh, Libra to be a part of their, um, country or whatever. And right here is a quote. It says out of question, the Libra would be allowed, uh, becoming a Soviet currency. Uh, Lee Marie said at the time it can't and must not happen. So basically what they're saying is that they do not want Facebook Libra to be a part of any type of exchange in their country they because they want it to be regulated so basically they don't want they want people in france want them spending their france dollars and they don't want them spending any other kind of currency especially currency that can't be regulated i'm pretty sure it got to do with tax purposes if we scroll down a little bit they have another quote in here um they, they do see that it's open and innovative, but at the time, they just do not like uh, what's going on with Facebook Libra. And they're not the only country. It's basically because it it, it really can't be, be tracked and are uh, regulated. So that's why most governments are against it. But Facebook run the world. I'm pretty sure they can. Mark Zuckerberg can find all those Z7, I mean G7 members on Facebook and leak any kind of photos that he wants because Facebook runs the world. <laughs> so uh, pretty sure there's nothing that they can do about it is, is going to happen. So they're going to have to find a way to either A, get on board or B, get pissed off that it happened. Um, so that is a little bit about Libra coin and Bitcoin. Let's hit refresh to see if it went up because I've been waiting. Uh oh, I've been waiting for it to get above that 10,000 mark just so I can make a screenshot and have a cool little post right there. But in the meantime, if you guys do want to cloud mine Bitcoin, if you don't have uh, mining machines at home, they're big and loud. But if you guys do want to cloud mine Bitcoin, you could go over to bitdeer.com. And what it is is a cloud mining service. You actually loan and rent their machines and they mine from it from their own factory so you won't have to take up any space or electricity in your house okay there it goes let's go away take up any space in our electricity in your house and right now if you sign up you will get your first week free just from signing up you don't have to enter any credit card information you don't have to pay anything just for signing up you get a seven I mean, you get seven day a week free pass to mine Bitcoin and then you can deposit it straight into your own account. Uh, right now, a lot of them are sold out. The 120 day contract is sold out. The 180 day contract is sold out. 240 day contract is sold out. And yeah, so the, uh, the only one that is available is the 360 day contract. 
So um, if you guys want to go over to BitDeer just to try it out for the first week, you guys can and deposit that money. It's free money, so you can go ahead and deposit that into your account. The link to that is down in the description. And um, if you guys do want to purchase that contract, you should have an estimated ROI on return on that. If Bitcoin price stays at $10,000, you'll make your money back in half the time. But if Bitcoin price goes up to $15,000 and stays there, uh, that'd be a pretty good contract to buy. In fact, it's almost sold out. It's 99% sold out. So uh, let me hurry up and drop this video. The link is down in the description. If you guys want to try this uh, bit dare to cloud mining services, and get it out to you guys so it don't be sold out by the time I post this video. But yeah, other than that, this is your boy Zeke the Crypto Miner, and I'm out.